guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be giving you the update on my no spend January. So this would be for week two. And I meant to film this yesterday on Saturday. It's Sunday. And it's just been a crazy week. Life happened again yesterday, so yay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um I guess it's good and bad. Classes started again. This they started that this past Monday. So I was doing homework yesterday. Um, and I'm still not done. I had to run errands yesterday. It's just been a fun weekend so far. Um, and I'm lucky I'm off work tomorrow. Uh, my office is closed for Martin Luther King Day. So at least I get an extra day uh, to meal prep because I haven't, I've gone grocery shopping, but I haven't done meal prep yet. So I still have to cook and I'm not going to get that done today. Um, so today, so let's start with the no spend January. Um, well, I failed this week. Um, I did go out. Friday night I went out. I had dinner with a friend. Um, and I haven't seen in a few months, actually. I don't think I've seen her in a few months. Um, so that happened. And the other thing that I had to buy was yesterday... Um, for one of my homework assignments, I had to buy a bag of M&Ms. I'm taking a statistics class, and one of them was, the assignment was we had to buy a bag of M&Ms and then, like, dump the bag out and separate the blue and the green and all the different colors and then count how many, like, how many of each color were in the bag and then create a pie chart and then, like, find out the percentages and then create a pie chart um, in an Excel doc. So... I failed my no spend January. I'm not going to give up though. Um, I will like kind of renew my efforts for not spending money, well unnecessary money, this month. So res resuming that today. Um, the other money that I did spend on Saturday, so yesterday, was for my cat's medicine. But I did mention in my like announcement for no spend January that I had planned that was already going to be an expense that I would have paid for anyway, just because I'm not going to let him go without his medicine because I am not spending money. That is a necessary expense. It must be paid. So moving into the update on my cat, he is doing fine. Um, he's rec completely recovered from surgery. His incision has healed. Um, he's back to his normal self. Well, I don't think he was ever not his normal self running and jumping around. Um, I mean, he was he was running and jumping around a couple days after his surgery. So he's been fine for a while. Um, they're still working on his IBS. So the vet told me IBS is actually an autoimmune disorder um, because his immune system is attacking his intestines, which is inflaming them, which is causing the loose stool. So... Um, we were trying to figure out um, like how to solve that and how to bring down the inflammation. Normally they would just give him, now normally they would give him a steroid, um, but steroids can lower your immune system and cause you to get sick. So we've already tried that with him and he did get sick. And so we don't want him to keep having, you know, upper respiratory infections and sneezing all the time. So that's why I take him to a specialist and we're I'm trying to find a course of medications that will work for his system, fix the problem, and at the same time keep him from not getting an upper respiratory infection. This is going to be one very costly cat. <laughs> and I am going to look into insurance. Um, I forgot, one of my viewers, one of my subscribers actually suggested um, pet insurance from Petco, or you can get it at Petco. I forgot the name of it. I think it's Banfield. Um, and that was before the holidays, and I was going to wait till after the holidays to go look into it. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot who mentioned it. Um, and I don't know if you want me saying your name on camera, so I'm not going to. Um, so I do need to go to Petco and look at it. And she said it was like $25 a month per, per cat. Or maybe per pet. I can't remember. But if it's for a cat, then I'm good. Because $25 will save me $3,600 in the future if you ever need surgery again. <laughs> so 
Um, that's on my to-do list. And, yeah. That's the update on the cat so far. He's got another appointment in a month. And I'll update you then on how he's doing, what the vet said. And I will also, at that point, give you another update on the total cost because... Yeah, um, and I don't have the I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I think it was like forty one hundred or forty four hundred. I'll put the video. I'll link the video um, via an iCard somewhere. I forgot where they appear. I think they appear on this side. I can't remember. Um, but I'll link that video where I lay out all the costs because I break it down: what I've put on credit, what I've actually paid for in cash. And I've been talking long enough now, so I will let you go. Um, have a good weekend if you're off tomorrow. Yay! Um, if not, sorry, I got to go back to work. Um, but actually, tomorrow, my company is closed tomorrow, but tomorrow is our only day off again before Memorial Day. So our next, like, federal holiday that we get off is Memorial Day. So I am going to enjoy tomorrow. So have a good weekend. Subscribe if you haven't. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. Everything's linked below in the description box, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.